Hello, my people. Welcome to another day of stories. This one's gonna be a little more risque. Gonna be honest. It's about brothers. It's about it's about it's about brothers doing brother things. And sometimes and sometimes what brothers do is not the you know you, you know. And if you are a kid, then you know. And if you have kids, then you really know. Um, but boys will be boys. So you, you be warned. <laughs> Let's roll. I hope you guys had a really wonderful week. Did you guys also decorate for Christmas? I did because, hey, you know what? For you guys, I go the extra five miles, all right? Not just one, all right? It's the little things. The little things to make the season feel more seasony. You know what I'm saying? Me too. <laughs> Today's story is about me, my brother, and my dad. My dad would pick us up, and we would always do one of a couple different things. After we had dinner, we would go to an arcade. Always fun. Laser tag. <clears throat> Laser tag, which was amazing. I thought we were on the precipice of the invention of laser tag, but nay, it had been created 10 years before we ever saw it here in Boise, Idaho, which is pretty standard actually for Boise, Idaho. But it was, we decimated all foes on the battlefield of Qzar. We we went there, we we shot them with lasers. We, 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 we shot them with more lasers. Pew, 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 pew. Is this it? That's all? It's laser tag. Or sometimes we would go to a movie. We saw a lot of movies when I was a kid. <laughs> when we would go to the movies, I always sat on my dad's left. My brother always sat on the right. We went to the movie and my brother had to go to the restroom. My dad and I go in the theater and for whatever reason, I remember that he had irritated me. I don't remember what he did. He looked at me and said, brother, and I was irritated. I don't know what it was. But I decided very antagonistically with pre-malice aforethought, sit on my dad's right side. <laughs> my brother shows up and looks at me like, you're in my seat. Sit over there. You're in my seat. Sit over there. My dad does not like when we argue and he decided to get in the middle of it. Hey, knock that off. Sit over here. My brother was really, really not happy with the fact that I had taken his spot. That was his spot. It was like in Big Bang Theory, you don't sit in Sheldon's spot. And he wasn't having it. So as he started to walk past me, he drops his knee right into my thigh. All of the, ow. I writhed in my chair as much as you can writhe in an old theater chair that didn't recline or have new cushions. It, it wasn't, they, they were so bad. We have come so far in the theater world, I'm just saying. And while yes, I started this engagement, I was also intent on finishing it. My brother starts to move across, but back in the day, even as a child, the distance between your knees and the seat in front of you in a movie theater was like a half an inch. So he's shoving and knocking me out of the way, and I I form one of these right here. And then as he passes, I just kind of wham right there. <laughs> because brothers will be brothers. I've only ever seen this a couple times in real life, but it was as though we were watching a cartoon. My brother's bottom half moved eight feet and his top half stayed right here. He let out a goat duck mashup of awfulness that was just ah! Obviously my father is agitated because his children are causing a big ruckus in the middle of a movie theater after he already told us to stop. And so naturally, he replies to my brother, Sit down right now! But my brother's response went down in history and I am confident that there are 76 people across this planet who are telling the story of about 23, 25 years ago I was in this movie theater and all of a sudden this kid let out this scream. Ah! And then his dad yelled at him and his response was, He grabbed my sack! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I hope you guys have a really fantastic week. If you have not already clicked that subscribe button, please do so. Then Quasimodo the bell, that way you get the notifications when the new videos come out. Click the like button because thumbs up is thumbs up. I will see you next week and as always, keep telling stories. Hey.